Hello, Cancer. This is your X reading for the 14th through the 20th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Please show me what's currently going on for Cancer for the 14th through the 20th. Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? Hmm. A lot of you guys are worrying here. Um, kind of letting your imagination, your thoughts run wild. I feel like you're in a very uncomfortable state as far as what you're thinking about, for sure. Okay? Um, but I feel like a lot of you guys are worrying for nothing. You're coming to the end of this, though. I feel like you're trying to work out something in your head and um, you're almost at the end of it. You're almost ready to let this go. Whatever has been weighing heavily on your mind that you've been having ruminating thoughts about. And as I say that you're almost ready to let it go, there's a ten of swords under the bottom of the deck. It's almost over. Push through it, okay? Um, and the way to do that is actually see what it is that you can actually fix. What do you actually know? Not think about the things that, you know, these far out things, uh, the possibilities of what could happen or, you know, the what ifs or whatever. What can you actually do? What do you actually know? What can you actually change? You know, that sort of thing. But I definitely see you guys, you know, rounding this up and being done with whatever headache um, you guys have, have been enduring. Okay? What's currently going on with Cancer's ex? What's currently going on with Cancer's ex? Four of Wands. Mm. Maybe they're getting some stability within themselves here. Um, this person, they may have a roommate. Um, they're trying to be happy within themselves. Uh, trying to do things that make them happy. Trying to, you know, make their home life stable and, and peaceful and, you know, things of that nature. Okay? They're just trying to gain some serenity in their life, I feel. Some of them may be in a relationship, but I don't necessarily get that. But um, there's definitely some changes that's going on here. They probably have moved house, too. Maybe this person has just gotten an apartment. But there's definitely some changes that this person has going on right now. Let's see. How does Cancer perceive their ex? How does Cancer perceive their ex? Does cancer perceive their ex? Defensive? Maybe that they've blocked you? Maybe that's got you like, um, you know, in a tizzy kind of concern. Maybe feeling like, you know, you'll never have any contact with this person again. You'll never talk to them again. You'll never see them again. All that's not true. If you're thinking any of those things, all of that, that's not true. Okay. Um, but you feel like, you know, they're not going to welcome you in. They're not going to allow you in. That they are, um, you know, not going to want any interaction with you. Like they have literally blocked you. Maybe from their social media. Um, maybe on their um, phone or, or what have you. Just is not wanting any contact is what I'm getting here. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> How does Cancer's ex perceive them? How does Cancer's ex perceive them? <clears throat> How does Cancer's ex perceive Cancer? Eight of Wands. They feel like you guys are moving on. Um, that you are definitely changing as well that you are possibly dating, communicating with other people, and um, basically, you know, moving on with your life. Maybe they feel like some of you guys have actually gotten into relationships even, because I feel like that's what you are, are thinking about them as well, that they are possibly, you know, in another relationship. I don't necessarily see that. I see them more, um, you know, changing individually, like, you know, 
themselves personally I don't see a relationship here okay but they definitely feel like you guys are moving on communicating with other people okay what are cancer's feelings about getting back together what are cancer's feelings about getting back together cars are sticking together mm, I don't really get that I think you will definitely want to knock this person's walls down. Um, I think that I think you don't want any conflict, really. What I'm getting is that you guys really don't want to have. Okay, you're already separated, so you don't really want this to be like an enemy for life or anything and i think you know you you want them to allow this open communication to flow you know back and forth between the two of you and i think that's mostly what's bothering you is the fact that maybe this person has made you feel like you know the end of the relationship was all your fault and have totally like blocked you out or whatever and I think that that's just not sitting well with you at this point okay let's see how does Cancer's ex feel about getting back together how does Cancer's ex feel about getting back together the star I think this person definitely is willing um, to get back together honestly I feel like <sighs> I feel like they know that you guys you know you have something special this is just what I'm getting here and I think they are either they're waiting on you to figure something out or you guys are waiting on I'm thinking they're waiting on you to figure something out I'm feeling like this person is wanting you to contact them that's not gonna be for all of you but that's what I'm getting strongly for some of you that this person is is waiting on you to contact them to say something to them especially if you are a male if you are male cancer, I feel like this person is waiting on you to contact them. Because they, they really want, they really see you guys as being for each other. Okay. Strongly here. And that's a message for a few of you. If you're male cancer, this person is waiting on you. They feel like you're their destiny. And they, they're just waiting on you to open your eyes and see is what I'm getting. Let's see how can cancer increase the chances of reconciliation here. How can cancer increase the chances of reconciliation? Hmm. Speaking. Speaking, tell the truth. Not being aggressive, but definitely speaking the truth. Speaking the truth here. But there's a need for you to kind of figure out, you know, what is that truth? What is the truth that you want to share? If you have the opportunity, if you feel like this person is blocking you, um, if you weren't blocked, if you could, what is it that you would say? So there, there's a need here, I feel, to speak whatever truth it is that you need to. And I'm saying need because I, I'm getting this strong feeling that there is a need here in order for this to come together, if that is what you guys are wanting. Okay? Let's see how can it can increase the chances of reconciliation how can cancer's ex increase the chances of reconciliation how can cancer's ex increase the chances of reconciliation 
Mm. Now we have a star with the devil. I think this is for this person to continue their healing process because again I see the changes that that are that are happening um, in this person okay and you see they are the star here maybe an Aquarius um, person that you guys are dealing with but you see how they have a back turn to this this Capricorn energy this devil energy they're not letting this phase them I feel like this person is definitely healing. They are winning the battle here over their fears. They're healing. They have a lot of healing energy, this person. Okay. A lot of healing energy. Okay. So let's see what the potential outcome is for Cancer and their ex. The potential outcome for Cancer in their ex. What is the potential outcome for cancer in their ex? The world starting over again. Alright. Wrapping up something, completing something, and starting over again. Very good relationship potential here for you guys, okay? So we have Taurus, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, um, Leo, Hmm. Capricorn, Aries, uh, Gemini, maybe Sagittarius. Okay, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you soon.